On September 26, 2022, and at 14,000 miles per hour, NASA deliberately crashed the DART spacecraft into an asteroid called Dimorphos. This was done as the world's first planetary defense test, as it was done to see if we could effectively change the orbit of Dimorphos around a much bigger asteroid. Now, the Hubble Space Telescope has released a brand new image to show the chaotic aftermath of the impact, where we can see dozens of icy boulders ejected from the asteroid. If there was ever a potentially hazardous Earth-bound asteroid, we now know that we could smash a spacecraft into that asteroid with enough force to divert it by a pretty big amount. The DART impact shortened the orbit of Dimorphos around Didymus from 11 hours 55 minutes to 11 hours and 23 minutes, so by 32 minutes, plus or minus two minutes in there. This was way more than we expected, and the mission actually would have been classed as successful if the orbit was shortened by anything more than 73 seconds. So this was a huge overachievement by more than 25 times what we expected. If this is done early enough to an Earth-bound asteroid, we could slow it down or change its trajectory enough that it would actually miss the Earth and hopefully avoid our extinction, at least from that particular event. So it's always reassuring to know we've got this in the locker. At the time, we had images of the immediate aftermath of DART. A huge range of ground-based and space-based telescopes imaged the impact and the puff of rocks that was ejected. In the final frame of the asteroid before impact, we can see it's made of a looser collection of rocks than perhaps we expected. It's more of a big bunch of grapes than one solid rock, and therefore more was ejected than we predicted beforehand, which is likely the reason the orbit was changed so much more than we thought. Well, since then, Hubble has been back on the case imaging the asteroid, and it's actually pretty cool. In this new image, we can see the dimorphous Didymus system as the bright, bluey white object. They're too close, and Didymus is actually too small to be imaged separately but the whole thing has a classic comet tail coming off of it. The interesting observation though is all of the blue spots around that asteroid pair. These are 37 free-flying boulders, ranging in size from 3 feet to 22 feet, that are being ejected and drifting away from the asteroid at about the walking pace of a giant turtle. Literally, they're moving away from Dimorphos at about half a mile an hour. In total, the rocks visible here make up just about 0.1% of the total mass of the original asteroid. There are a lot more boulders here than we expected at this stage, if I'm honest with you. And the asteroid could well continue shedding rocks for many years. Although, to be fair, this is the very first time we've ever smashed a spacecraft into an asteroid like this, so our predictions were always going to be a rough guess. In 2026, the HERA mission is planning to visit the asteroids to do close-up follow-up observations. And there is a very real and possibly dangerous chance for HERA that boulders are still being thrown off at that time. One thing HERA might be able to confirm is whether these boulders are shattered pieces caused by the impact or not. And it will image and measure the actual crater that DART caused as well. Currently, we think these rocks were already loose across the surface of the whole asteroid. Estimates suggest that the initial impact knocked off about 2% of the surface rocks. But it's not clear right now exactly exactly what's causing the boulders seen here to continue to be ejected. One cool possibility is that the boulders are still being shaken loose by a seismic wave from the impact, which is rattling through the asteroid, causing it to ring like a bell and shaking loose a lot of surface rubble. It's possible that future Hubble observations might allow us to follow up on this again and track individual boulders. This could let us plot the trajectories of those boulders, get a good estimate for where they came from on the asteroid, and work out which direction directions they were ejected in, possibly helping us understand exactly how they were all launched off of the surface. Leave me any questions you have in the comments below and thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!